All right, today, everybody, we're going to be talking about the commutability or drivability on the freeway and around town of the 2021 KTM 690R. So we'll be getting on the freeway here, heading south. You can check out the acceleration and everything else. Still don't have a lot of miles. I'm not fully broken in, so I can't get too carried away, and I won't. myself searching for that extra gear just because of the low gearing this bike has. We're now at 75 miles an hour. Sounds good. But you can't really hear her again yet. Yeah, I'm definitely considering changing the muffler on this thing. Number one reason is just the heat that comes from that thing with the catalytic converter. I'm tempted to do a, a video of cooking bacon on it wrapped in foil. But that and then not really being able to hear your motor that much on the freeway. And then the third thing would be the weight savings. I'm definitely going to be doing that. I've already got two different parts on order for this bike. One are some foot pegs from the Nash uh, Motorsports that are three quarters of an inch lower and a three quarters of an inch back. And I'm 6'1", I got long legs, so for me it's going to be a good thing. It's going to open up the cockpit for me. The other part I ordered is KTM crash bars because I always like to put crash protection on all my bikes um, axle sliders all that kind of stuff because it's just not a matter of if you're gonna drop your bike it's just a matter of when I hate to say it but it's just true so the sooner you put on the crash protection the better okay car coming out woo woo condition orange you guys watch uh, Dan, Dan the Fireman, a lot of good stuff on his channel about motorcycle safety and I'm always worried about people pulling out in front of me. Yeah, the brakes are freaking awesome now on this thing. Let's see, which way do I want to go? This way? All right. up the bad roads really easy. Nice. Alright. Condition orange. This looks like somebody's going to do a U-turn right in front of me. Look at. I actually had somebody do a U-turn in front of me when I was going 50 on a Suzuki DRZ Supermoto. Didn't end well for my Suzuki or me or the front fender and hood of that Jeep Grand Cherokee that did it. That's a whole nother story. Oh, that felt like a little flame out there. It'll be the first flame out I've had with this bike. This guy hates people doing U-turns here. Look at that truck. That thing is sick. All right, you guys. I think uh, we'll conclude the, the video right about now because I'm worried about the thing getting cut off for some reason one of my videos it just shut off before I was ready so thanks everybody for being with me on this ride um, I have the parts coming in soon so I'll be making videos on the parts and the install and let me know what you guys think about doing an exhaust on this thing and if you guys could give me a like or subscribe I'd super appreciate it thank you very much be safe out there